Hello, Digital Market School students. Today, I want to teach you how to throw an object that is parented to an armature and then gets its velocity from the animation of that armature, but then gets unparented, flies on its own with rigid body simulation. We're going to build a very simple scene in addition to a default cube. I'm going to make a plane, shift A, plane, 10 meters, scale this cube, point one, two, and I will need an armature, shift A, armature. Place my cube at the top of this bone, go to edit mode, select the top of the bone, press shift S, cursor to select it, go back to object mode, select the cube, shift S, select the cursor. I also would like to create another bone, select my bone again, return to edit mode, click on it, right click and subdivide. And now what I like to do is to parent this cube to the top bone. Select my cube, shift select my armature, go to pose mode, make sure that my top bone is selected, press control P, set parent to bone. If I change rotation of that bone, you can see that the box follows. Let's go ahead and animate the armature, reduce the number of frames in my scene because I don't need that many. I'm gonna to go to frame five of minus 0.4 and right click and insert a single keyframe. Then I'm going to go to frame nine. I'm going to move it into a different direction. And again, I'm going to right click and insert a single key. At the frame one, I can set this to zero, also insert a keyframe. So now when I play this, my armature swings and the box swings with it. So now what I need to do is I need to apply physics to this box. And for that, I'm going to go to a physics tab and choose rigid body, active, dynamic, and animated. And I will also animate this value, the animated value. So there is a little dot that I can press and I'm going to do it at frame nine where I want my box to be released. And then I'm going to go to frame 10. I'm going to uncheck it. And then I'm going to press this diamond to create a second key. And lastly, I want to select the plane, give plane a rigid body, and then set its type to passive. Now, if I play this, you can see that the armature is driving the box and then releases it. And in a nutshell, this is how you do it. I can play with those keys to see if that will help me. There we go. With the force that the box is being released. I hope you learned something new today. We are Digital Monkey School. Please like our channel and subscribe. And I talk to you in my next tutorial.